What's up guys and welcome to another YouTube video. It's Rob here from RS Racing and in today's video we are going to be collecting my brand new 2022 Division 1 Supercar. I honestly can't wait. I can't even tell you how much sacrifice and dedication has gone into funding this. Uh, any sponsors out there, let us know. But in all seriousness, uh, you know, this is something I've built up to for a really long time. And we're going to be heading up to Anderson CSK Motorsport up in Leeds. They're probably one of the biggest global supercar providers in the world. And um, yeah, I can't wait to show you how ex how amazing it is. I've specced out the Anderson supercar on their website. They've got a configurator, and you know this is all custom made. And I can't honestly, I can't wait to show you what, what it's like. So without further ado, let's hop in the van, and I'll see you on the other side. Come on, girl. Come on, don't let me down. Okay, we're in the van, we've got a two hour drive um, up to Leeds, Anderson CS Motorsport. The van was a little bit hairy to start then, so I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to be heading up there today. Uh, thankfully, third time lucky, we've got the van going, so uh, drama over, let's get going. Okay guys, so we've just made it to Anderson CSK Motorsport. I don't know if you can see, but there's the entrance. Uh, they've got a big uh, factory on the inside there. So we're gonna head in and hopefully, if we're allowed, I'm gonna get some footage in there and I can show you around. And then obviously we've got the big reveal of the, uh, of the new supercar as well. Um, actually started snowing up here. Um, so I was thinking, crikey, I'm gonna get, gonna get stuck or whatever, but... Um, but yeah, so we made it, so I'm super excited. So let's just get in there and have a look.
Okay, so the car is in the back. It's all ratchet strapped down. It's absolutely chucking it down outside. So I've chosen to do this bit of the video in the van. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all in there. It's looking sparkling clean and oh man, it really, it gets the old juices flowing, that's for sure. So uh, plan now is to go up to John Riley's. He's the, the owner of Red Speed and we're gonna try and put the engine onto the car. So I'll give you some updates as we get along. Alright, so we're just putting the engine bolts on now, uh, just fitting the car to the chassis. Uh, one thing that we've had to make sure when we fit the engine is that the sprockets are completely uh, parallel, uh, so there's no friction, would you say, John? Mm -hmm. uh, no chain misalignment, no yeah. extra load or anything like that. You might, you might have to hold the brake on for a Yeah. Alright, so we're just fitting the new exhaust. John's beautiful work here. Um, just making sure they fit aligned with the chassis, John, you say? Yeah. Just cleaning them up. And then the, the other one will come out the manifold here and then go over the top. So show you that one in a sec. What I want to do is get that like that. Okay. Ideally, off that uh, bracket there. So I need the roughly. Needs to be level with the inner wing. Is where it needs to be. I measure. So we just fitted the airbox and the front exhaust there. Obviously, just making sure there's enough clearance on the airbox. But it's all starting to come together now. Up and above the height of the pod before we bend that out.
the update. So we've got the exhaust fitted on the front and on the back. We've got the cradle sorted, we made the bracket. Um, the back one was fine. I'm just bleeding the clutch, hydraulic clutch fluid. John's working his magic, hopefully. You have to be careful with that little o-ring in the in the lid there when it goes back on you make sure that's in the groove. You get the air bubbles on, John. I'm just getting there there. at the moment. Squirt it Now that's good, it's going through, man. 